Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Bee Burns Cradle. How are you? It's been such a long, long time. I'm here today with Saren. She is my Halloween baby. I actually purchased her last year from Babeside.com and I love her so much. She is one of my alternatives. She comes like this. Um, Babeside has a collection of beautiful Halloween themed babies and this is the Saskia replica and I love her. I do have an authentic Saskia. This is my first maybe only <laughs> replica Saskia so yeah. she is so adorable. I know it's been a long time since I've been here. I'm also wearing my Halloween shirt. <laughs> um this is my second attempt at doing this video. The first time I did this video, I felt overwhelmed with emotions. And I don't want to give you guys a sad video. It wasn't that I'm sad. It's that I'm a sucker for beauty. And I was telling you something really beautiful. And I just started crying. Um... One of the things, the reason why I'm also easily triggered emotionally is that today marks the one year anniversary of my dad passing. And I don't want to cry again and do this video again. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it's been a whirlwind of emotions lately. But the best part is, is that I was telling you how abundant and grateful I am for my life at the moment. I've just been so busy and tired <laughs> and um, it, I'm still overwhelmed. It's not that I'm extremely sad that my dad's gone. I mean, of course, I am very sad, but it, it changes your perspective on life because my dad was the only connection, bloodline, blood-related, other than my son's to me that I have. And losing him and not knowing my biological mother, I, I... I don't know. He's just, I, yeah. Let's just say he's different. But I'm very happy to be here with Saren. I named her last year and I apologize. I never did show you her last year when I purchased her. She was on sale for Canadian only $22. So, but I mean, she is so cute. I did not reweight her or anything. She came like this. Um, Usually with my alternatives, I don't change them out. I do have a collection of baby lives. I don't change their clothes. I have a collection of cabbage patches. I don't really change their clothes. Well, especially my original cabbage patch from the 80s when I was a teenager, a young teenager. She is still in her original outfit and her hair is the same. I did, I do remember undoing her hair once and I felt horrible for some reason. <laughs> and in fact, um, the certificate, the birth certificate that comes with her, I didn't even sign my name because I didn't want to ruin it. And now I wish I did sign it because my brother, he, um, he found it in my mom's basement a year, a while ago, back in maybe 2016 or so. When I was in the hobby and he framed it for me because he knew how much she meant to me and he knew how much this doll hobby means to me. So isn't that beautiful of him? <laughs> so anyways, I am here with Saren to say hello to you guys and to welcome all my new subscribers. I have been loving your comments so, so much. You guys inspire me to be here with you right now, talking with you. Thank you guys for being here and spending time with me. Um, I know lately my videos have been just me rambling. 
<laughs> and today is probably going to be the same thing. I do have my room back, my dolly room back to myself, but I'm still trying to slowly reorganize it. But my collection is huge, giant. I have tons of Reborns, authentic Reborns. And I do, and my replica collection is growing very immensely as well. So I'm running out of room. But I can't help not look at the dolls. Are they, they're just, I love this hobby. Yeah. I love it so much. So what I've been doing is I've been collecting mini dolls lately. And I wanted to show you, well, first of all, I'll show you my Maplina doll. She is, oh, the pile is falling. She is not wearing anything right now. I just wanted to show you her. Oh, and excuse my nails is from Halloween. Um, I dressed up for Halloween this year. Last year, um, last year was a year when I was getting ready for Halloween. And at lunch was when I got the really sad news that I had to rush to the hospital. Um, my work where I work is an hour and a half away from town. Yeah, I, I teach in a, uh, in the boonies, literally, <laughs> literally, there's no self service out there. So, but anyways, I was told to immediately get to the hospital as fast as I could. And, uh, I'm so thankful that my dad had like a last rites. Um, he was in the hospital bed and sitting up and coherent. And he couldn't really talk, but um, we had a little gathering for him. So I was so thankful I was able to be there, surrounded by his uh, his loved ones and my family and his best friend. So, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is how busy I am. But this is my Mapleina doll. She is uh, Celia. Celia doll, the Inuit doll, which I love because I am Inuit. I'm part Inuit. My biological mother is Inuit. And with my dad's passing, I inherited many of his personal belongings as well as there's... I didn't realize how many Inuit belongings, like authentic, like he had a parka, boots those mucks and boots like seal lined uh like fur i have fur i have a harpoon i have my brother was able to get the snowshoes just many things and it made me open my eyes more to my culture and uh and this is a gift from Daisy. She uh, she knows about my real mother. And she knows that she was an Inuit. And this looks a lot like her. And I named her after my real mother, Kapik. So, or, I'm not even saying it properly. It's kind of like a Kapik, Kapik, Kapik. Okay. <laughs> there are so many sounds in the uh, Inuktitut. Inuktitut language that I can't even pronounce. I can speak some French. Um, la France dans la corde, but <laughs> that was many years ago. I, I'm not fluent, but I can understand it when I listen to it and I can speak it a little. <laughs> um, but in their language, they have many of those deep throat sounds that I can't I don't know how to do. <laughs> and plus they throat sing. And so uh, I don't even have a clue of how to do that. But I'm very happy to own Kapik. And she's in my collection. And uh, she is my only, what is this, a 14 inch doll. Um, like an American Girl doll. I just want to show you that her leg movement. I love how she's like... Can go even her arms can go in and out like this and of course up and down could probably swivel but i love how she has this movement as well she doesn't have knee joints but this her feet are pretty basic flat foot but i like how she can like when you want her to sit she can 
Now, I do have another doll from Babe's side. It's a 14-inch. I'll share with you. She does not have a cloth body. She has a vinyl hard body. And look how cute this face is. Oh, by the way, Kapik can close her eyes. Such as that when she lies down. Oh, she's so pretty. And she can't. She can't. I think it's a daisy sculpt. I don't know. It's so cool because they have reborns with this face. <laughs> She's so cute. But she does not close her eyes at all. And um, her feet are more are more detailed. And she's still flat. And she has blushing on her knees and her hands. But her arm cannot move. It's just stuck there. It can go. It can probably swivel. Yeah. But and her leg, same thing. It's like it can't. It's just like this, like a Barbie. But I still love her. She has no name, so the name suggestions would be really appreciated. So. As a lot of you know, my collection is giant. If I didn't, I think I already mentioned that. So my eye has been on the smaller dolls. Um, like for instance, ah, things are falling. This little one is from Timu and he's so cute. Oh my goodness. And he was only like $10. <laughs> He is a Canadian, so it's even cheaper in America, and he cannot, he is all vinyl. He is so cute. His hat is attached. However, I don't want to take it off. I probably could, but it's attached, like, with those clothing things. I, he is just too cute with it. Oh, and he's so cute. And he has a sister. Same sculpt. But they put her into a girl. Girl form. Oh, she's so cute. I just opened her yesterday, so I didn't really do nothing with her hair. But she is the exact same, like, same uh, limbs as this. Same thing. Different eye color. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. And they're, I would say they're like, what, a 10 inch? A 10 inch doll. So those are super, super adorable. Also, I've opened these before on my, on my channel. Wait, I'll just put Kapik over here. I did open these kind of dolls before on my channel, which they're so cute. <laughs> these, these little guys. Um, I got like a whole box like this and I gifted the whole box away so I bought myself another set but they're so cute and then these ones came individually but they're so sweet I love them so it's got this kind oh and there goes the light this kind I think it turns itself off if it gets too hot there's a whole bunch of different kinds. And they're so cute. So, I have like, there's this one. Aren't they sweet? I love them. And then I also found these. These little pom-pom babies. And they have a little keychain. It's just so cute. So there's a white one, a red one, about all the colors. <laughs> a brown one. Oh, they're so soft. Blue one. Oh, they're so soft. And this color. And this color. I love their little hats. They're just too cute. I can't resist. I can't resist. Pink. There's 
is gray. Oh, so soft. Oh, no big. <laughs> so these are all the colors of the kingdom. They're just too cute. I can't help it. Also, to add to this one theme of my new alternative beloveds, I call them my beloveds, I also have this to add. So, I'll put that on my wall. Let's see. Open it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Open it. I am addicted to teaming you guys. And... How pretty this is, isn't it beautiful? It's gonna look why do I love that sound? <laughs> I don't know why I love that sound. That is pretty. I buy a whole bunch of craft items at Timu, like beans. Um I do have a tutorial on the do-it-yourself boho bohemian uh, pacifier clip is basically macrame and I used uh, wooden beads with jute and there's also another way I make them with white yarn or string string sorry not yarn it's like a string uh, like that like the bohemian like wait, where's that? see that string like that kind of string and I love doing that stuff but I've also decided to try silicone beads. So I've been buying a ton of silicone beads. This I didn't open yet, but I'm really intrigued. So yeah, I'm trying hard to stay away from buying the replicas and um, focusing more on the little. <laughs> I'm still addicted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is a whole set. Oh, they're so cute. Do you smell no? Sometimes you might get like strawberry scented or vanilla. Oh my goodness. I love these. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> There's a whole bunch. I love them. Plus, I've been lucky to get, like, um, Timu will offer me, like, two free gifts if you spend, like, $30. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'll pick out the expensive gifts and then buy, like, a doll. <laughs> An easy $30. But my collection is getting too big. Sorry about my nails. These are so cute. And look, I guess it's like a, a little advent thing. I think it's like an advent. Oops, can I open them all? Because when I look, there's like little doors I can open. Hmm. Oh, I love it. Very cute. And I see what's in here. I have been just having fun ordering cute cute thing. Oh I remember this. This I bought myself is a doll bed. Um it looks like a bunk bed for um dollhouse. Yay I wonder if it has instructions so it will look Oh, look at this. It's cute. It will look like this. I don't know if you can see that. Cute! I love it! Um, now that my giant collection is... I don't want to say over. Because <laughs> it's never over. But it definitely needs to slow down. Snoopy. Um, <clears throat> I've been buying myself miniature things, which I love. Um, I'm not sure if I want to collect 
many of these 14 inch dolls because even though I love her and I love my Kapik, um, I have a collection of baby lives. That's what I have a whole bunch of those. So I don't know if I need like a whole bunch of baby lives and then a whole bunch of these, but you never know. <laughs> never know what my retirement home will look like. <laughs> um, what else I want to share with you? Um, they also have like mini silicone babies that I'm buying those too. <sighs> it's just such fun. I love it. I love it. Um, so I was thinking of opening this cute little, look at this cute little face. This is a My Sweet Baby. And I bought this from Walmart a little while ago. So I was thinking, let's open her. Oh. Okay. Here's the box. No, the thing is, I don't think I have scissors in here. So I'm going to purge her. And just her feet in. Oh, she's soft. Okay. Oh, she's... Aww. She's squishy. Reminds me of my childhood doll I used to have. I forget what brand she was, but I named her Patricia. I know that. Oh, she's like my... You're a lot like her, except for you have an Asian face. Oh, I love you. Look at Squid now. She is squishy, squishy. <laughs> I love your outfit. Yes. I love your outfit. She will be a doll for Carly. Or Xena. But I love this doctor stuff, too. I love it. And she was too expensive. Oh, look at this cute little mask. I didn't even see this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, this is funny. My little dog kits never came with a mask. But ever since COVID, I guess. Oh, has to go over her nose. How many times have I seen masks and people don't wear them over their nose? It's funny. Oh, it fits her. <laughs> so cute. Comes with medicine. Oh, look, neck up in put in. Oh, I guess the spoon. Oh, look, and it has a pill. Oh, so let's check it. <gasps> cool. Let's see if we put it in her mouth then. Oh, if I was a little girl, I would totally love... <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, and by the way, I have a cold. Pretty bad cold. Let's see. Do I do, do I just go like this? Oh, it worked. It worked. How fun. Oh, if I was a little girl, I would be, I would love that feature. And it, yeah. Now I get to own it. Doctor's thing, is this real? Making a mess. See if it actually works or not. Hello, do do do. Some of them actually work and some of them are just don't work. Do 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 do. do. No, <laughs> it doesn't work. I have I have a doctor toy where it does work, like you do talking here and you can't hear it. That's cool though. Oh wait, what's this? What does that mean? Can I hear anything? No. 
Let me buy this. How fun! My little, my inner child is loving this so much. Ooh, a needle! Okay, wait. I don't know what this is. I bent it. Oh, they're band aids. How fun! Sticker band aids. That's a good idea. I like that. So, thermometer. Let's see if this really works. Okay, this is the last thing. Does it work? Oh, work! Like this to fill it, fill it. Ooh, and it goes down. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun, little one. Oh, it oh, fell. Oh, oh, pom pom babies. She's so cute. What's the time on here? Oh my goodness. I've been rambling. I'm rambling. And then I also have this one. Very, very girl to open. The reason why I bought her is because I love the deer, the mushroom, the fox. Best. Oh look, there's food. Oh, it comes with food. That's cool. Everything in here. I don't really want this type of one not hurting the paint. No, oh, look how beautiful she is. I love your color. This is my favorite color, that pink. Not this dark pink, this light pink. The light pink is my favorite. And this mushroom. Is in that color? Little fox. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Is this a bunny? It's a bunny. What's it? Does it have a lid? Does it have a purpose? Cool. Funny, this mushroom. Oh. <gasps> I did not know it did that. <laughs> oh, so pretty. That's so pretty. I didn't even know it did that. I really want it. <laughs> I did not know it lit up like that. Oops. Okay, I need to cut this off. <gasps> How did I do that? Oh! <gasps> wow! That's so pretty! There it goes. I love it! It's perfect! It's perfect. I'm so happy with it. So it comes with this butterfly tree dish with food on it to feed your fairy. Ooh! I, after all this time, I didn't even know it did that. Fork and a spoon. Oh, I love this. I love it. Oh, wow. She's soft. I know. Okay, I don't want to hurt her. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this. Because I don't want to rip her butterfly. I used to collect those LOL dolls, too. I have, like, maybe seven, seven of them. I think. It's a little heart, but where would it go? 
on that bunny or just in her hand. Her hand can hold. Well, and here's her wings. Her hand can hold something. Oops. Okay, I have to, I have to cut this off too. Her hand can hold. Oh, she's so soft. You know what this is for? Oh, for her butterfly wings, probably. Oh. I break my nail. Look at <laughs> I am loving everything. I'm so happy I opened that. Um, I think that's all I came to share with you. I did also mention earlier that um, this past year, uh, I've life. I think I did mention this: how you look at life in a different perspective when you go through such a moment like that of losing someone so close. And I found my life extremely abundant. I am extra grateful and I feel thankful every single day and it is overwhelming. I've been um the deepest, darkest place and yes, I am talking about I have been suicidal and I did attempt it before in my life. So I do know exactly what it feels like at the opposite end of that barrel. But being out of the barrel, floating above it, is is just as emotional, just as, how can I put it into words? <laughs> I can't, it's hard to describe. It's like... I am uh, overwhelmed of feeling extremely grateful, gratitude for such a beautiful life. I am honored to have family members and even people like you who comment on my videos, who comment positive like comments saying how much you enjoy spending time with me on my channel. It just, it really, I'm so thankful for all of you who come here and spend time with me. It's I've been feeling loved, cared for by not only people, but things, if that makes sense. Um, the universe is so beautiful and abundance is amazing because I've been in both places, both um, talking about emotionally and like financially. It's just amazing. It's quite the journey and I'm enjoying it, but um, just, just, <laughs> sometimes overwhelming. One of the most important things that happened to me in this year. Okay, now I told this story the first time I tried to make a video. <laughs> so hopefully this time I can do it without crying. Because this is how special and aha inspiring it is to me. Many, many years ago, I grew extremely ill. Um, both, well, first mentally and it affects physically too. So I was having so many health issues, physical health issues, so much that I had to resign my job, my teaching job. And um, back then I was teaching kindergarten and I was teaching kindergarten for a good six years at this point. And um, as a kindergarten teacher, I feel that you should you're basically their second parents because 
those kids used to call me mom by accident. And I'd say, oh, that's okay. I'm your teacher mom anyway. So they knew me as teacher mom. And when I grew ill that year, I took a lot of time off here and there because I had like over a hundred sick days saved. I kind of wish that I just went on a medical leave, but I, instead I just used up my sick days and then I resigned because I was thinking of the kids. I wasn't really thinking of myself and I kind of wish I just took a medical leave and, you know, have that financial security. But I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking, poor kids. Um, I can't be there for them. Uh, they're going through so many people. They need a real teacher <laughs> to be with them, someone non-sick. So I resigned my job and I got better. <laughs> I, I, my mindset started to change. Um, so I got better and it took me a long time to get my feet fully back into a permanent position, which I now am in. I'm back in permanently. It's a wonderful feeling. Um, I'm teaching grade seven this year. And, uh, my grade seven kids right now is that bunch of kindergarten kids that I had all those years ago when I first got sick. <laughs> Try not to cry. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? How, sorry. <laughs> I had told myself I wouldn't do this, but isn't it amazing what the universe did for me? <sighs> all those years ago with these kids, these kindergarten kids, and they are now my grade seven kids. Now what's even more special about that is that I taught kindergarten, I taught a morning class, and I taught an afternoon class. So two sets of kindergarten kids were mine. Once they start grade one, they get split. Like, there's two grade ones, two grade twos, two grade threes, blah, 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 so on and so forth. This year is the first year that my school has decided to have one grade seven class. So I have a class of 26 kids when normally I would have half of that. So 13, 13 and 13. Um, the thing is when they were in grade six last year, their attendance was really, really low. Um, each grade six class would have like five kids a day, six kids a day and so the school decided that um, not only with grade seven, but with the grade eights as well. Last year, I taught grade five. Um, but last year, the grade sevens who are now in grade eight, their attendance was also really low. Like they would have like two kids a day. Like it was really low, really pathetically low. So the school decided that there will be one grade seven and one grade eight. So my class has 26 kids. Her class, the grade seven or the grade eights, excuse me, across the hall. They, I think she only has like 23 kids, maybe 24, not as many as me, but her, her attendance isn't as high, but mine I usually get all, like, not all 26, but a good 22 is my average, which is amazing for our school because the attendance is so low. But I'm so grateful that <laughs> I just love how the universe turned itself around on me. So, yeah, my grade 7 kids I have now are that is my last batch of kindergarten kids, and that was a year that I had to say goodbye to them. And now I get them back. Isn't that amazing? It was so amazing. And what's even more amazing is all these beautiful dolls that I'm able to purchase and love. I love all my dolls, even though it's a huge collection. I do love them all. And 
Now I have a big mess around me. I'm gonna have to clean up. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for spending time with me and listening to my ramblings. If you made it through the entire video, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate all of you. And I hope that you guys have a really great day and a really great weekend. And until next time, I keep saying that. <laughs> very, very soon. Love you guys.